All right, so in this tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to play the song Dreaming with a Broken Heart by John Mayer. Great song to learn on piano. Actually pretty easy for beginners, um, and even if you're intermediate or even advanced, you know, it's a great song to work on. Nice touch, you know, dynamics. So you can always work with songs even if they feel easy, and if you're a beginner, this is a nice one to get your hands moving a little bit, playing some chords. All right. So let's talk about how we play this song. I'm gonna make it real easy. So left hand is in the middle C area, right? Here's middle C for reference. I'm at the G and the D. Those are my two notes I'm playing. Pinky on G, thumb on D. Right hand is gonna be up here. I'm gonna put my thumb on B and basically make a G chord. It's a first inversion G chord. If you're not familiar with chords, don't worry about it. Um, B, D, G. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play that those notes in this little pattern that goes B, D, G, D, okay? And we're gonna hit the notes G and D at the same time as we hit B. So all together. And there you go, you got that first chord down. So work that a little bit until that starts to feel comfortable in your hand. Go nice and slow, it's a slow song, so no need to rush. Play it a few times until it starts to feel comfortable. So then the next chord we're gonna do here in our left hand is we're on G and D, that's what we played first. Now we're gonna to go to G, C sharp, right? So you see my index just goes up there, and E, thumb slides over to E. Right there, it's gonna be a weird sounding chord on its own, it may sound wrong to you, but it is actually the right chord. Um, and in our right hand, we're gonna outline that and play the notes C sharp, E, G, E. It's just like we did that pattern with the B, D, G, D. Now it's just C sharp, E, G, E, but same pattern idea with that new chord. All right, so all together we got. And now the third one is very easy, especially if you're coming from your second chord. So if you want to, if your hands are off the piano, go ahead and play through it until you're at the end of the second chord part and keep your hands where they are, all right? So your hands should be like that. And then for the third chord, only finger that has to move is your index finger goes from C sharp to C. We're keeping the G and keeping the E and playing them again. So it's almost the same chord. The second chord was G, C sharp, E. The third chord is G, C, E. In our right hand, not much different than the second part, instead of C sharp, E, G, E, like it was in the second part, we're just doing C, E, G, E. And that's it. So, you know, practice those parts, you know, and, and the hardest part about playing these songs is just being able to switch from chord to chord in time, right, without having to stop and pause. So work through them, you know, some practice, you know, things you can do with the song if you're struggling with it at all is, you know, take your time, work on the first chord. Can you do the first part? Do it again, do it a few times in a row until it feels easy to do. Once you can do that, work on going from the first chord to the second just even to the first part of it. So you just get the transition a little smoother. You see, I'm not even playing it through. Once that feels comfortable, I'll add in the rest. And then same thing, work that third chord in and still smooth. All right, well, I don't need you to hear to watch me practice. You can get some practice in on this one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like, subscribe, you know, comment, you know, reach out to me. I'm very accessible. I like to, you know, take requests. If you have questions, I like to answer them. Um, I'm here to help, you know, so like I said, subscribe, support, and um, hope you enjoyed this video and, you know, check out all my other videos. All right, see you soon.